Hey guys, so I'm back with another makeup tutorial and I decided to do a going out makeup or club makeup and as you can tell the background is different and it's going to continue to change because I am redoing the room and how it's all set up so you are going to see some changes and also I am sick so when I do do the voiceover for the makeup tutorial hopefully it's not annoying or anything but I can't really help it. Um, and I should be getting better soon. I just started medication yesterday, so hopefully that all works out. And let's just move into the makeup tutorial. Bye! Taking any primer that you guys have on hand, apply that to your lids, and this is going to prevent any eyeshadow from creasing throughout the day. And in this next clip, you'll see I'm taking a pinky eyeshadow and applying that to the crease. Avoid doing this. I did this in the wrong order. First, you want to apply a creamy base. I'm using Submissive by Be A Bombshell. And this is like a taupey, creamy base. And then go in with MAC Expensive Pink and the blending brush. And I'm using a 224. So after you've applied that taupey base to the lid, go in with the MAC Expensive Pink and that blending brush and just apply that to the crease and I like to wing it out to the brow. And now I'm going in with Utopia Pigment and just a flat brush that you guys have on hand and I'm using this dry, I didn't wet the brush or anything. And I'm just using this as an eyeshadow, not like a pigment, so I'm just smoothing it over the lid and this doesn't give you that flex of pigment that you would get if you wet the brush. Now going in with the Tarte Lip Bloom palette and taking that color Firecracker, I'm going to be applying this over top of that Utopia pigment and this is just going to give you more of a bronzy lid, which is what I was going for. And once you pack that onto the lid, I went in with that blending brush again and I just blended it all out and brought it to the outer corner and winged it out. So taking a light brown matte color, I'm going to be applying this into the crease, kind of over top of expensive pink. This is just going to help other colors that we applied blend out and create more of a seamless look. And then I'm going to be going in with MAC Smut. And I don't really know how to explain this color. It's not black and it's not gray. It just creates really nice definition into the outer corner of the eye without making it too dark. So I applied this into the outer V and then I brought it into the middle of my eye and I winged it out slightly like I've been doing with all the other eyeshadows. Something I do with every eyeshadow look is apply a color similar to my skin tone and a dense fluffy brush and I apply this to the brow bone and blend downwards and this just creates a smoother transition from your brow bone to your crease. And then taking nylon, I use this as my highlight. It's yellow based and I applied this to my brow bone and inner corners as well as the center of my lid and then blended that out with my blending brush. So now I'm just creating winged liner and I'm using the NYX Super Skinny Eye Marker. You guys just use whatever you have at home. And you can make this as thick or as thin as you want, and I just extended mine pretty far out. So everything that we did on the lid, we're going to be doing this on the lower lash line except for the pigment. So here I'm applying MAC Expensive Pink and then going in with MAC Soft Brown. And then I'm going to be taking MAC Smut, but I'm going to be concentrating it more on the outer corner. So going in with a red tone brown, I applied this to the top lash line as well as the waterline and I just prefer the way red tone browns look on me rather than black eyeliner. So whatever you feel more comfortable with, you guys can do. I just like the way this makes blue and green eyes pop. So just do whatever you guys feel more comfortable with. So now I'm just smudging out that eye pencil that we applied with a pencil brush and now I'm going in with false lashes. I'm using Demi Wispies and just the lash adhesive that you guys have and I'm applying this onto the band as well as the outer and inner corners because those are the places that it will pop off first. 
And now while I wait for the lash adhesive to get tacky, I'm just going to be applying some mascara. And you guys use whatever you have. And looking down in a mirror, you want to just pop the lash on and then just push the outer and inner corners in. For the lips, I'm going to be using Revlon lipstick in Rose. And I'm applying this all over the lips and then going in with a lip liner that is similar to the lipstick. And just outlining my lips to create more definition. To finish off the look, once your lash adhesive has dried, go in with your eyeliner again just to cover up any of the glue that could be showing, and that's the finished look. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!